Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for everybody who just tuned into PT World. You're watching World This Morning alongside Shazad Khan and for everybody who's tuned into PTV Global, obviously that's the same for you. Ladies and gentlemen, today is Tuesday and we were talking about all those people who came up with initiatives where they thought that they would be able to save quite a lot of lives. So earlier we were talking about Helping Desk, which was an initiative of an NGO by the name of the Human Accords Trust. You know, the Helping Desk right now is at PIMS and Holly Hospital over here, Holy Family Hospital over here in Islamabad and Rawal Pindi. Now, the best part is that the main cause of this Helping Desk is that, for example, if you go to a hospital, you want to, you're, you know, obviously it's an emergency and you want to see a particular doctor, you just have to go to the Helping Desk. They'll guide you, they'll take you through, and then they'll make sure that you guys are great and in great shape as well. And if there's any requirement of first aid, they will do that for you. And it is in collaboration with obviously all of those doctors who already work at PIMS as well. Now, this is one part. Now, the other part is that, you know, since the time that we have been born, there have been quite a lot of technological advancements. Now, for example, if I need to know the meaning of a word, all I do is probably open up my browser, type in Google, type the right word, and then, you know, I'll get a million other options of what the meaning might be or the synonyms might be. Now, there are people who actually came up with the idea that we are going to create an application. Now, the, by the word application, we obviously know that it is all of those applications which we download in our Apple phones or Android phones as well. Now, what happens is the concept was very great. Now, the name of the application was Marham, which means bandage, which means first aid as well. And they thought that what we are going to do is that we are going to collect the data of the entire Pakistani doctors, hospitals, their specializations, and then if there's anybody who need any information within Pakistan right now, this is what I know, and if they're looking for a doctor or a specialized doctor, all they need to do is to download the application, look for the same guy or probably your disease. I do not know how it works. We'll ask them because they're here over here in the studios. 30,000 downloads within a year. And obviously, you know, still increasing. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for none other than Dr. Numan Anjum, who is the director and the co-founder of Marham as well. Hello, assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm fit and fine. How are you doing, sir? Absolutely perfect. Great initiative. Thank you very much for making it to the studio. We always love sharing such things with our viewers. And alongside Dr. Numan, we have got somebody who is a marketer. She's still an interny with Marham, but her name is Amna Salman. Hello, Amna. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam. I'm good. How are you? Absolutely perfect. So let's get started. We've got very small time left, and I want the best <laughs> to be out there for all our viewers. What is Marham? Whose idea was it? Basically, uh, Marham, it was an idea of my friend, whose name is Esan, who is currently the CEO <laughs> and the founder. Yeah, he's somewhere in way, you know, because <laughs> he's stuck within traffic. Unfortunately, he couldn't make up because uh, we were supposed to be here by 8 o'clock, but unfortunately, due to it's traffic... It's all right. Finally, I'm thankful that you guys Thank made you it. so much. Yeah. Basically, his father was suffering from a disease which is, uh, which was no, which is known as Parkinson's disease. It exactly. is one of the neurological disease which affects... Muhammad Ali sahab had it. Which, which affects almost 1% of population uh, above 60 age. Yeah. So, initially he didn't know where to go, which doctor to show, so he suffered a lot. Right. And then he discussed with me and then we came up with the idea. I mean, there is a lot of gap between the patient and the doctor. I mean, the, yeah. pa the patients, they doesn't know which doctor to show, which speciality to go. For example, for, for the disease which his father was suffering, uh, he should have... Yeah, which department would you go to for that? He should have gone to a neurophysician initially. Neurophysician, okay. And then ultimately, if there is any role for surgery, then uh, opinion of neurosurgeon can, could be taken at that time. All right. But uh, <coughs> it took almost uh, a month uh, for him to go to a well-known, recognized neurophysician. And he knew what was going wrong with his father. Initially, yeah. he didn't know about this. All right. He searched on the internet, and then he went to a couple of doctors. He went to different hospitals. And then there we saw there is a lot of gap, you know. So necessity is always the mother of invention. Exactly. You guys came up with an idea that why not, you know, let's bridge this gap. Exactly. I mean, uh, this is the main uh, vision and aim of our application, yeah. basically to guide the patients towards the right doctor. All right. Uh, let me give you a, a small example. I mean, if a patient uh, who's suffering from diabetes, like sugar, it's very common in our country as exactly. well. Uh, the uh, homeopathics and the different form of doctors, they, I mean, they... 
they choose like we can cure uh, diabetes. Yeah, but they, say. They, they say they, they can yeah. cure diabetes 100%. I mean, it is reversible disease. But unfortunately, in our uh, school of thought, <laughs> yeah. because we belong. <laughs> Thank from, you for saying that. Because we, we, have, we have spent uh, many years yeah. and a lot of research has been done, conducted, uh, conducted in this phase. So they end up going to a quack. Uh, and eventually they end up having steroids and due to uh, overdose of steroids and uh, uncontrolled diabetes they end up having uh, kidney issues and finally their kidneys vanish, they uh, get destroyed and they end up having dialysis. This is what happens but you know since you just talked about diabetes you know you mentioned it so there's one more thing which I would love to share with our viewers. Ladies and gentlemen for all those people who might be diabetic or who are sugar patients there's a great news and that great news is that you know there has been a device they have made a device which is probably implanted within somewhere your you know right next to your pancreas i'm not sure about it that device as well or what the name is but it is said that it controls your blood sugar levels as well on its own so the inventions there i do not know whether how much time it's going to take to be a bit more common as well but you can look forward to it yeah go on and l let me continue my topic. I mean, if a patient who's suffering from, from diabetes or hypertension and he comes to us or, our, or, our, or on our forum, basically we guide them that diabetes, if you control it properly, you can live for many years. Like yeah. uh, the great example is of Vasim Akram. I mean, he, yeah, the extension can be there. Exactly. I mean, you can prolong the complications of diabetes if you have a good control, if you have good diet plan and if you are on good uh, oral hypoglycemics. And if your control is good, you can always... Fine, I got the idea. So now, you know, you guys got to work. So you guys were like, okay, if we have to bridge this gap, we have to do quite a lot of research for all those millions of people who are out there. So where did you start it from then? Initially, what we did is uh, we started from category. For example, we started with different categories of uh, medicine like uh, cardiology, then uh, rheumatology, internal medicine, general surgery, urology, pediatrician, urology, and, the, and the list goes oncology, on. Yes. And the list goes on. And then what we did is uh, we went to different hospitals. Our team, our uh, designated team is there who go to different hospitals and collect the data of uh, our respected doctors. And what we do with the data, we verify the data with PMDC, right. Pakistan Medical and Dental Council. I mean, you can verify online by typing their PMDC number and then you can verify their specialization Whether they are as well. registered or not, yeah. Exactly. And by, by verification, we put online on our website and on our forum as well. And initially, we have done a lot of homework in Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi, Rawalpindi. And gradually, uh, we are moving, moving to different uh, cities of Pakistan. Inshallah. All right. Very nice. So you guys are going to increase the reach of this application inshallah. as well. And then you guys are going to get in more data as you progress. All right. Now, Amna. How was your experience, uh, you know, since you have been working with Maram for like four or five months now, you're an attorney, you know quite a lot of technical details. So let me just ask you, is this application just for iPhone user or Android user or anybody can just download it? Uh, basically, this is a mobile application and a website as well, which is available for the Android and iPhone users. All right. Uh, moreover, uh, we have different uh, health forum and uh, health blogs within our application which can be accessed through the application or the uh, website as well. Right. And uh, you asked about my experience. Uh, so my experience was really very good. And uh, I, I felt myself that I am working for a social cause along with my studies. So it is very satisfying and very, very helpful for me as well. That's good. Now, but I think for all our viewers, what will be helpful is that if you share the website name, as well yes. because we have told them the application name it's marham m-a-r-h-a-m ladies and gentlemen go to google store or you know iphone application store as well type it in download it and it'll be there and it's for free wow i would talk about that as well but go ahead with the website first. Uh, so the website name is www.marham.pk and right. if you want to go to the forum and ask question there's an option uh, ask a question or uh, one more link www.marham.pk slash forum so All you right. can directly access the forum and you can see uh, the, uh, the questions that the people already ha have asked uh, to the doctors and answers as well. So I mean, so for example, if idea. I have a disease, I think if I have a disease, God forbid, or probably if I have flu or any other thing. So what I can do is I probably log on to that, you know, forum thingy and then ask a question and I'll get free consultation as yeah. well. Yes. Free consultation? No, exactly. Uh, not, not a consultation, basically. What we do is you post your symptoms, yeah. you post your queries. 
our doctors team is available 24 7 online on that forum right. we guide you towards your disease and towards the specialist or to whom you should show I mean right. to whom you should visit for example you you just typed in okay, I'm suffering from I'm having weakness and from past couple of days I'm having shortness of breath as well yeah. and I cannot sleep my <laughs> appetite is not good so what we do is we ask for the more questions and we conclude two three different so you take the history yeah. Exactly. And then we guide you towards proper doctor. You need to see a medical specialist or you need to see, a, uh, for example, if there is any surgical issue, you need to see a general surgeon. Right. If there is any neurological issue, you need to see a neurologist. Right. We don't offer any sort of treatment on this forum. All right. Very nice. Now, but there's one thing which I wanted to ask. It might be, a, you know, I do get naughty a bit of, you know, uh, more oftenly, but it's perfectly all right. Now, what I wanted to ask was, that for example, if I write you, you know, something which I want you to ask and you guys get back to me that, okay, if you've got cough or probably your symptoms lead, we think that this might be this disease. How can you be sure that I'm not going to treat myself or by myself then just because I knew that you guys wrote it to me that, okay, you know, these symptoms show that you might be suffering from flu, for example. So then I will start looking for all those medicine which might be available for flu probably on Google as well and I'll treat my own self. Why do you think that there'll be a need to go to a doctor? And I mean obviously if, if it's such a disease. For, uh, it's a very good question you have asked. I mean a lot of people they have uh, you know confusion regarding this thing. Yeah. Let me clarify everyone. I mean for example you type any symptom on our forum or on our Facebook page or on our application what we do is uh, you, you just simple, simply type, I'm having a cough from three to four days, and I'm having fever as well, and simple like this. We'll guide you immediately, go to a physician, and please get yourself examined, because right. uh, this, can be, uh, this, can lead to, this can lead to anything. I mean, I'm no one, because <laughs> I'm not seeing you, I cannot, I cannot examine you. So the best, person, the best person to give you your diagnosis is the person who is examining you physically. Right. So... Uh, uh, let me clarify uh, one more time, Marham does not offer any kind of treatment All right. on the website or on the forum. We just guide the people towards the right doctor. All right. And, and how many times do you guys make sure that you guys are not favoring one single doctor or two, three doctors who might be your favorites as well? There is a strict policy on this one. How do you do it? Is it like an algorithm? Is it like a matrix where, you know, it just comes up? No, we, we doesn't recommend, a, 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 for example, you ask me, whom should I visit? We just tell you, you should visit a medical specialist. If you ask us which medical mm -hmm. specialist, probably, and then we ask you the next question, where, what is your location? If you say Lahore, then we can give you just 10, 15 names. 10, 15 names. Yeah. That's great. Thank God that it wasn't really a single name that, okay, you know, you can go to no, this no, no, doctor. No. And then we'll see the doctor afterwards and we'll get a bit of commission out of it as well. Our policy is strict on this because we totally believe uh, in quality. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, as our initiative is for noble cause, we need to help the people. So I don't think so. It, w it, it will benefit us in this uh, life and as well the so life So do you hereafter. think that, you know, when you guys were making this application and obviously the development is going to go on, all right, and you guys are, you know, probably planning to extend to all of the rural areas as well. Do you think that all of these major cities, Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Peshawar, Multan, do you think that you've covered all of the hospitals and the doctors or the private clinics? Not exactly. We are still in our uh, data collecting phase. Right. I mean, it's very difficult to go to each and, uh, each, 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 each and every hospital. Yeah. So at times it becomes very difficult, but uh, we pay high regards to our honorable doctors who take time for us. I mean, uh, we went to many hospitals, we, discard, we discussed our ideas with many doctors, everyone appreciated it because it's a noble cause. So they uh, eventually they end up having, saying this, okay, add me to your application yeah. and uh, please let me know what benefits I can give to your patients. So yeah. we are very, you know, helpful. I mean, the people. Fair, I think you're helpful for both the sides as well. The doctors are getting more practice as well, and yes. people are getting to know about the doctors. And and the uh, the good thing about this application is, for example, many people doesn't know. But many people they know the all the big names. Yeah. Uh, they prefer going over there. But, but they have a long list. I mean, they they have a mashallah, Obviously you have to wait for mashallah, They have very long list of patients. So at times you don't get time to see them. So uh, what we do is from this forum, 
many good doctors who just recently graduated, they can come up. All right. Now, th there's one more interesting fact. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that the, it's very authentic, first of all, because of the fact that they earlier mentioned that all of those doctors who are over there within the application and whom they might guide you to, they verify that whether they have actually graduated or not, whether they are registered with PMDC or not as well. How many times did this happen that you were collecting the data and quite a lot of doctors came out fake or fakers or d weren't registered, and, but they were still practicing? And what did you do about it? Did you do something about it? Because uh, you cannot say that it didn't happen. It uh, did no, happen. L l let, me, let me be honest with you because uh, uh, initially, uh, to, to my best knowledge, it didn't happen. All right. I hmm. mean, uh, what we do is mostly what happens is, for example, a doctor who is... Uh, who has done, who has graduated, has done MBBS, and he has his PMDC number. The PMDC number, uh, its registration is for four years or five years. Right. Then there comes a renewal time as well. Yeah. So few doctors, they don't renew at time, like uh, on the given time, they delay it. Right. So that can be the issue. But mostly the doctors, they are registered and, 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 and they are doing their authentic practice. As so well. I think you guys are doing a great job as well, and PMDC has always been doing a great job. But one last thing, for example, if I... I've downloaded your application and you know I go into the forum and I ask you a question which is as simple as that my heart's broken what do I do what would you reply with we'll make uh, <laughs> then uh, what we do is we can share Actually, your feelings with us <laughs> there is a yeah. process first we um, approve questions on the yeah. forum all right so this question is not going uh, no, to get approved. No, no. Yeah, definitely, yes. All right people so don't ask any stupid questions all right make sure you don't do that because they are here to help and please make sure that you do, do not really get into something where you waste quite a lot of their time as well because it's a team of dedicated people who are working and you know they're doctors themselves and they want you to help. That's it. Thank you very much for coming over. We would love to have you in near future as well. As soon as the download reaches million, we're having you over again. We'll ask about different experiences and your other initiatives. Yeah, sure. You want to say something? Uh, just last time, I mean... Uh Till now, I mean, it's been almost four months of being active. Uh, our application is active. Uh, almost we have done uh, 10,000 plus appointments wow. through our application. Wow. And uh, we have guided many patients to, towards the labs, towards the diagnostic centers as well. And uh, moreover, what hap uh, the best part of, uh, of our application is uh, our application has an uh, option called Nearby Doctors. Yeah. If you click on it, it will assess your location, <coughs> current location, and it will show you the list of doctors who are nearby you. Very nice. And so people do not forget to turn on your location services as well. Thank you very much for coming over. We'll definitely have you once again because I had quite a lot of other things to ask. For example, how do doctors get to know that, you know, okay, that they have booked an appointment and there were other questions. Well, what we can do is that probably you can write to us on our Facebook fan page, which is with the name of World This Morning. On Twitter, it's World This Morning, and then we will get back to you. If, for example, if the question is about Marham, or earlier we were talking about the helping desk as well, we'll definitely, we would love to share this information, and this is what we do. I mean, it's all right. My producer at times tell me that, you know, you probably stop, need to, you know, you need to stop doing it because you probably market your own self quite a lot of times, but it's perfect, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are doing a great job. Once again, don't forget to tune in for the repeat at 5.11, which is 5 past 11 p.m. Look after yourselves and please make sure that you take these initiatives. It's very simple ones as well. For example, even if you're not making an application or it's not a helping desk or you are not helping somebody practically, even sharing information is helping. Look after yourselves. Good morning. Thank you.